I've reached a pinnacle in my career. Scotty Kilmer follows me on Instagram. If you don't know who Scotty Kilmer is and you're into this sort of content, I don't know where you have been. He is a automotive DIY YouTuber. So Scotty, if you're watching this, thank you. My neighbor texted me the other day, his name is John. And he said, hey, I have a snowblower that I bought last year, brand new from Lowe's, and it doesn't want to run this year. He admitted that he let fuel sit in it over the summer. We had our first snowstorm here in Michigan a few days ago, and he fired it up, and it, it runs, but it just runs extremely rough. It only wants to run on the choke on, so it's running very lean. I will show a video of it running here in just a second. I imagine the carb just needs to clean. I mean, the thing is a beast. It's brand new. It has the plastic still on it in some places, and we are going to do our best. Should be relatively straightforward, just routine layup carb cleaning and you know we'll see how it comes back. I will have the choke on, I'll put it to halfway and then I'll put it off so that way you can see it, it just wants to surge after the, uh, after the choke is off. Here, it, it just it wasn't the worst I have heard a ton worse but it just it just didn't really want to run right so we'll get that carb off we got it here anyways again this is not this is not bad by any means most people would actually probably hear this and be like what's wrong with it that's fine that's there's nothing wrong with it so he did say that the fuel last summer which would have been the summer of 2020 did sit and I don't know if the tank was half full or empty or full but that fuel did sit and it's still running off of that old fuel from the winter of 2019 slash 2020. Like I said, either way, let's get that carburetor off of there and we'll just make sure everything's all good. We'll just flush that fuel out get some new stuff in there and call it a day. Okay, just after looking at this thing, I may skip the step of dropping it in the ultrasonic cleaner. It is just wildly overkill, because this thing, I mean, this machine probably only has like, I'd say probably 15 hours on it max, maybe not even, maybe 10. So I, again, I, I think that cleaning it is, is something that we can have fun doing, but I just, I just don't think that dropping it in ultrasonic cleaners is, is something that is very necessary so nonetheless let's get that fuel oh gosh I don't think these have ever even been cracked open I am glad we got it open. If you can see, there's like a, there's something in there. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not supposed to be in there. So although the fuel, I don't think the fuel was bad. I think that the, the majority of the reason why this thing wasn't running as well as it could have been was due to, you know, just some, just some dirt particles, other things like that getting in here. So good to get off. Again, I don't think that we're going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Yeah, see that came off of it. I just, I don't think it's necessary. It does beg the question though, I wonder what is in that gas tank. I wonder if there's anything, anything that's not supposed to be in the gas tank in the gas tank.
I will attempt. There is a uh, main jet or emulsion tube, I think is what it's called, up in there. Let's just... See if that wants to come out. Get that put back on there. Let's get the fuel drain out first, and we'll just make sure everything that goes in there is absolutely fresh as can be. All right, let's get everything drained out of that gas tank. But I will say one thing. I am so close, because there's two bolts on the other side, and then there's one bolt on this side. So I think I'm just going to take the gas tank just completely up and off. All right, now you might be asking yourself, Chris, why did you just take that whole thing off? I did give a peek inside there before I did this, and there's some, there's some cobwebs in there that... I don't know if I like. We saw that in the bottom of the carb. There's some crap in there. I don't know what it is. It's like... I got all that soot out of there, out of this cup. So there's none left in there. And I want to put a little bit more fuel in here now that it's drained. And just a little bit. And we'll make sure... Soot is such a funny word. Soot reminds me of uh, 101 Dalmatians. I don't know if you guys remember the scene in that movie where they, <laughs> they get covered in the, they, they jump in the fireplace and they, I think it ends up becoming a part of their plan to escape and disguise themselves. Hongo, what on earth? Look, I'm a Labrador. We'll all roll in the soot. We'll all be Labradors. Say, that is an idea. Come on, kids, roll in the soot. Disney's going to be not happy about putting that in there. YouTube, rather. Sorry, YouTube. Had to do it. Okay, let's take my word for it. Nothing came out in there. So I want to put a little bit more in there. And then what I want to do is dump it out the other way. The, uh, you know, tip it into there and we'll see. Because I know there's a fuel line. I don't know if there's a fuel filter in there, but I'm kind of overkilling this fuel thing. Okay, so it's not coming out the fuel line, but it is coming out and it is in there. So I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it is causing some problems.
Ah, so there is a fuel filter in there. And there is a lot of crud on it. Yikes. Spray a little bit of carb spray through there. Make sure it's on. So I don't know what that was, but there was all those globs in there. So I'm actually kind of glad we did that. Let's get that fuel filter back on there. Alright guys, well that is all back together. Man, they really don't like you getting in that carburetor. There's like a plate that goes around the side and then you have to take off this little screw bolt that's up underneath the gas tank to get this like cover off over there. They really are not doing you any favors. It's probably their way of pe keeping people out of, you know, tearing it apart. But anyways, we are, it is too late tonight. It's a little bit later than I thought. So I will wake up in the morning, come back out and we'll get this thing fired up and we'll see how it sounds. I'm glad that we did that. And if, if you're gonna take something away from this video, I would take away this. Even if the gas seems okay, there may still be something in there that needs to be addressed, AKA all that soot that we saw in the car, but whatever the heck that was. So take that if there's anything that you're gonna take away from this. And I'm gonna get some sleep. And then tomorrow morning, we'll fire this up and we will take a look and see how it sounds and put this one in the books. 24 hours later. Throttle is full, choke is on, three primes, here we go. Right, guys thank you for joining me on this one i appreciate you watching if you watched it this far you are an absolute freaking warrior thank you if you learned anything from this one hopefully you learned just clean the carb even if you don't think it needs to be clean just clean it anyways it doesn't hurt can't go wrong you can follow me on social media at chris x outdoors scotty kilmer does say hi i want to know what you're working on if you like the video hit that thumbs up button if you are into this sort of content consider subscribing i don't think that you'll be disappointed a lot of what we do on this channel is very, very, very similar to this. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's just a fuel system clean out, some kind of carb replacement or... I don't think we've ever replaced the carb on this channel. Yeah, there was one. There was one carb we replaced. All right, I'm out. Till the next video. Later, guys. Peace.